Who is Aunt Lou? Does she know? Good morning. I am getting ready to go downstairs and tape two videos. Um, this is a week where we're going to not only catch up, we are going to get ahead. So we're really excited about that. So um, I'm going to be taping a, a casserole crock video, tips and some beginning recipes for folks who want to who want to start out with their casserole crock or even if you haven't tried this handful of recipes these are the ones that I'm recommending for your casserole crock right off the bat it's gonna go along with a blog post it's gonna have a lot more recommendations of recipes um, it's just a, uh, a primer so to speak uh, people ask me about the casserole crock all the time the number one question I get asked about any recipe that I don't mention the casserole crock in is can you make it in the casserole crock so we're gonna talk through all that um so get that and then then after I cuz I'm unboxing it while I do it while I talk about it then after I unbox it and wash it up I'm gonna make our barbecue chicken legs in um, the casserole crock for a recipe that may actually come out before that other video I'm still trying to figure that out um, and then um, I have got to go to town even though it's freezing cold out here because um, I've been working in an old wooden chair and I keep having like back pain back and shoulder pain while I'm working and so Mikey and I were talking this morning he's like uh, yeah you probably need an office chair so I'm gonna go to the office store and see if I can find an office chair I want an office chair and then I also I'm gonna pick up a small little binder and some page holders because um, I'm gonna make like a little miniature cookbook for a friend of mine um, just uh, because they're expecting and I thought it might be fun or helpful to have some like super easy dump into your crock pot recipes at their fingertips they don't have to use it um but if they want to it kind of give them a quick and easy so they don't have to search for anything they don't have to print off anything it's all kind of already there and then it'll have extra pages that they can print their own stuff um, so I'm gonna do that <clears throat> so that they for them um, and I need to get the little binder with the little um, insert thingies so I'm gonna do that then when I get home, I've got to, I made these plans already. I think that notebook is actually downstairs. I'm trying to be way more organized and that means that I never know where anything is because that is how organization works for me. Uh, downstairs is my notebook where I've got it all figured out. And when I get back, I need to write a blog post that you've already seen last week about pressure cooker cooking times. Um, if I have time, I'm going to go ahead and write last week's Foodie Friday post, which is uh, the bacon dates. Uh, still playing a little catch up, but like I said, we're going to get ahead. And the way we're going to get ahead is tomorrow, Aunt Lou is coming up. And Aunt Lou and Mikey are going to tape. And they are going to tape... Um, the nacho 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 <laughs> nacho chicken dip that you saw last week and then they're also going to tape uh, a foodie friday for this week of um ham and beans and so mikey is actually i think he might have just got back home he went and picked up the grocery order that i ordered yesterday that had all the ingredients for everything i just said um he went and picked it up and so now he's we're going to have all the groceries all setting and ready um, for when when we need to tape. So by taping those four videos, it should get us to where we have everything ready for this week and next week. So then we're finally back on track. 
that's that's what we've been trying to get to <laughs> ever since we got home but one of the ways that we can do that is uh is maybe the theme of this vlog which is what is it like to work with your sister so a lot of people ask me who is aunt lou aunt lou is my younger sister she is four years younger than me um and aunt lou has been working for me for as long as um, Recipes That Croc has been around. So I'm pretty sure the year we launched Recipes That Croc was the year I hired her and she decided to work full time for me um, to help me launch Recipes That Croc and then also help me keep up with it because it's a lot to keep up with. And so that would be, I believe, if my math is correct, she's been on the team since 2013. Um, and so we have uh, been working together for a really long time. And we um, really enjoy working together. We work together but apart. <laughs> we work in our own homes and then we come together um, a few days every once in a while for tapings or to coordinate what we're doing. We use a lot of online um, messaging and phone calls and those kinds of things to keep everything coordinated. But uh, I thought we would talk a little bit about that, maybe even talk to Aunt Lou a little bit um, about what all she does for the site so you guys can maybe see some of that. Who is Aunt Lou? Does she know if she was my aunt? Some people think that Aunt Lou and I are the same person. We just uh, change our looks quite often, which is kind of a funny thing that we are like, okay. She she's not Mikey's wife. That was it, which it gets a little confusing. Hello, I'm taping. I bought you a delicious chicken. Okay. I also filled your car up with gas because I'm a good husband. Thank you. But I saw rotisserie chickens on sale. I'm like, I know you like chicken. And it's low carb and it's delicious. IJ makes some of the best rotisserie chicken. <laughs> this we, is not. We are an taking. I was going to say, or, we're going to uh, make a commercial break. This is not a commercial for uh, Monrovia IGA. It's just, I really like their chicken. He likes their chicken. Hi, guys. What are y'all doing? We're trying to talk. Oh, sorry for the interruption. <laughs> Don't make a mess down there. I'm getting ready to tape. I gotta go. Clean up <laughs> stuff. I gotta clean that up later. <laughs> um, love you. Love you. Folks also get a little confused. Folks also get a little confused because uh, Mikey, who you just saw, is my husband. Aunt Lou is married to a guy also named Michael. And so when you hear us talk about Mikey and Michael, you it can kind of get a little confusing that the, the way that you can know which husband we're talking about is Mikey. We always call him Mikey with a Y. And Michael is her husband. Um, we don't usually, we never call him Mikey. We rarely call him Mike. Um, and Mikey only gets called Michael when he's in trouble. So <laughs> that'll kind of help you keep that straight. But that also makes it really confusing, I think. Um, Aunt Lou has two kiddos. Uh, my nephew, Ryder. And my niece, Isla. And then, of course, Mikey and I have Miss Ad. So that kind of is the whole family. Since this is a video that I'm kind of dedicating to identifying who Aunt Lou is, um, we I'll also show you some footage from when our families were together in Texas over the holidays, kind of exploring and enjoying things. And I'll try to work some of those montages in throughout. So, yes, we're still in Indiana. I'm going to show you a little bit of Texas. Uh, don't don't get confused it's just kind of to kind of weave it all together I wish 
would have uh, interviewed the family a little bit more while we were down there, but we were too busy uh, working and ha trying to have fun to kind of like think like that. And also I was sick, <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, which I'm still trying to recover from. Alrighty, well I need to go tape. Five more dishes that you can make in your casserole crock that I think you're gonna love. So I'm getting ready to prepare for the um, crock pot uh, chicken, I think it's chicken. Barbecue chicken legs. I never know what, wh how the exact wordings are on the website. Um, getting ready to cook for it. And I'm prepping to do the recipe. And something that we've learned on YouTube, and bear with me if you disagree about this, it's okay. We can disagree. <laughs> um, I am going to go ahead and get the chicken in the slow cooker before the video starts. Because we follow food safety guidelines that says you're not supposed to wash chicken in the sink before you cook. You're supposed to take it from the packaging and put it into the slow cooker. Um, there are a lot of folks who were raised otherwise that you should wash your chicken. If you wanna wash your chicken, just know that food safety guidelines says you shouldn't, but if you've always been doing it and everything's been fine, you do you. However, <laughs> We don't do that because that goes against food safety guidelines and um, so we're not going to do that on the channel. But people get, anytime we cook with chicken, if we show us taking it out of the packaging and putting it in the slow cooker during the cooking video, I get so many comments about the fact that we didn't wash chicken that we lose the recipe completely. So we just don't even do that anymore just because people are really set in their ways of how they were taught to deal with chicken. And I get it, if your grandma taught you that, I get, I get why people feel that way. Um, however, it's just, so that's part of what I'm doing prepping back here. And the blog is, the blog vlog is about uh, talking behind the scenes, so that's why I'm sharing it now. I'm sure I'll get some comments, maybe. Hopefully not, hopefully you get where I'm coming from. Um, but anyhow, we're making the barbecue chicken legs. I had been wanting to make this. I'd been hesitating to because I eat low carb. So in order for me to do it on the channel, I was going to have to make my low carb barbecue sauce, which I've done that before on the channel for another recipe. And it's no big deal. It's just, it's kind of one of those hassles for low carbers. Uh, I... I have tried different bottled uh, barbecue sauces, but um, never really found anything. And so I was recently gifted by a really good friend some barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna give this a try today. It was so funny because she gifted it to me over the weekend and it was already on the editorial calendar for it. Skitty just is teaching Ollie how to jump out of his pen. That is not okay, Skid. Like, for real. Don't show him. He's going to try it now. Anyhow, it was so funny because here I was getting ready to do that and then my friend said, hey, I have something for you. I picked up for you. And she gave me barbecue sauce and I'm like, that's awesome. So I'm gonna give this a try on the show. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's very yummy so I don't have to make barbecue sauce anymore. Let's see how that goes. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get the chicken in the pot. This is a super quick recipe. I'm really excited about it because I think people are gonna love it who haven't already tried it. It's been on the site forever, but I, for some reason I didn't have a video. So we're gonna do this video and get it going. <laughs> Today we are making barbecue chicken legs in our crock pot, all while having a whole lot of fun. Well, so 
since I have to go to town anyways, I decided to go ahead and grab some donation stuff that we've been meaning to get out of the house <laughs> since before we went to Texas. I had purged a bunch of closets when we were packing and that kind of thing. And so those donations had sat in our foyer the whole time we were in Texas. So I'm like, if I'm gonna have to go and clean out my trunk so that I can put in an office chair to get home, then I'm gonna take all those donations in. So that's that's what I'm doing. But <clears throat> total side note, I started thinking that maybe while I was going about all of this that I would talk a little bit about my baby sister. So uh, the truth of the matter is, recipes that crock, it's falling, recipes that crock and as you know it and especially the YouTube channel as you know it could not be what it is without Aunt Lou. Aunt Lou does a lot of things in the background that helps everything function in the foreground. So she is on camera occasionally um, but for the most part she's doing a lot of uh, our stuff to get our stuff out on social media. She's helping me keep things organized. I thought it might be fun when she comes up, hopefully if I remember, to do uh, independent interviews and let her grab the camera and talk about ways that we are alike and ways that we are different because we are very, very different in a lot of ways <laughs> and that's what works out so well. So, um, Aunt Lou is super, super organized, and that helps me in my crazy creative mode to have somebody helping me keep everything organized. So a lot of times I come up with the ideas or how things should go, and then she does all the tiny steps that helps make it all happen. And so uh, I thought that might be fun when she comes up, so we'll see what she says. Uh, what, some of the basic um, differences is uh, I am an extreme introvert, like full off the scale. I totally get my energy from a good book and a warm blanket <laughs> by myself in my own little bubble. And she is the opposite end of the spectrum. She's an extreme extrovert. She has never met a stranger. She is super, super friendly and personable in person um, anybody who and she's very uh, bubbly and energetic I'm more reserved and inside my head so those are some of the differences other than the hair color which should be the first clue that we're two different people um, but uh, we grew up together in southern Indiana um, like I said she's four years younger than me and um, and so and like I said we started working we've worked together off and on in our adult life but we've been working together full on and um, back in 2013 I think now she may clear she's the organized one she's the one that keeps all the dates that's the other thing is she reminds me of things now uh, she always, I always I always joke and tell people I'm gonna fire my scheduler and she gets upset when I say that because she thinks that everyone thinks that she's my scheduler because she's the organized one. I'm like, no, I schedule all the things. You just help me remember them. So it's not her fault when I over schedule myself. That's totally on me. She helps me untangle the mess. So, um, but that'll be, hopefully that'll be fun tomorrow. Like I said, I gotta go get an office chair or I'm not gonna be able to work anymore because <laughs> my back is in one giant knot after all that stress last week. waving the white flag for today I think I still have to tape the end of the barbecue chicken legs but Mikey and Addie had to go straight to <clears throat> karate 
I still don't have my blog post for tomorrow written and I really want to spend some time on it so I think I'm gonna bump Tuesday's content to Wednesday which this will have already happened last week so now you know what happened <laughs> my back seized up and I had to put together a chair and everything got delayed and then I'm trying to manage the puppy so I'm finishing up the newsletter and once the newsletter is done for tomorrow um, then I'm going to go and finish taping the barbecue chicken legs then I'm going to play with the puppy and um, maybe read a book or something and try and get my back to stop hurting um, but my new fancy chair is nice and it does it helps my back it's got lumbar support I've reached the age in which I need me some lumbar support and I'm happy with it so I'm happy with the chair it came together easier than I thought I was going to but it still took a lot of time and I'm still not feeling the best between my back and I am still congested from Texas so well hi Skitty Skitty's saying hey anyhow um so I'm gonna finish the newsletter I've I got the low carb one scheduled already I'm gonna finish the newsletter and then I might I don't know it'll depend on what all goes on this evening I've got to pick out some recipes to print off for my friend I did get um, some stuff let's see here I got sheet protectors I'm a, I've got a couple different things that I'm wanting to do I've got my friend who I'm wanting to make a cooking binder for then um, for those of you that understand how websites work and everything I'm going to print off our site map so I can keep track in the big sense of all the pages on the website um, I have the database and then I have the recipe finder that you guys use but I'm needing something a little bit more dare I say it spreadsheet <laughs> skitty skitty's tail hi <laughs> Um, spreadsheet like to like kind of process information and keep track of things um, so I've got sheet protectors for that um, and dividers to organize but they were having a sale oh my I just dumped that everywhere on these really nice binders I really like these they got like a rubber um, corner which helps them and they've got the d-ring so oh and they've got a thing so my chair was on sale I think it was like way on sale like a hundred dollars off on sale they were like they had all the chairs on sale so my back chose a good time to not be happy these were all on sale like almost half off so, and I'm not sure about the other stuff, but it all worked out. I got binders to do that and to keep my stuff organized. I just, I'm just not feeling the best right now. So I'm going to do what I absolutely have to do. Then I'm kind of going to honor my whole trying to work less thing. Um, and once the chicken legs are done, then dinner's done too. And like I said, Aunt Ollie is missing Addie since she's been gone all day. And so I'm gonna go spend some time with him and play ball. He loves, to, he loves ball. So I know he's wanting somebody to play with him because I hear him knocking his ball around and barking and being like, hey dude, somebody throw the ball for me. So I'm gonna go do that for him after I get this scheduled. So this is a new slow cooker. Um, even though I've had this cas a, a similar casserole crock before, I am going to play it safe and use a meat thermometer to, I'm sorry, this is so bright. I don't know why down here it is like, makes me ghost bright. <laughs> okay, well anyhow, 
I, I practice what I preach when it comes to the meat thermometers, particularly when I'm working with a new slow cooker, just to make sure that everything's cooked, especially before I turn the camera back on and I don't want to be like uh, getting ready to broil raw chicken. So that wouldn't be fun for anyone. So I want to double check that it is definitely done or if it needs longer to cook. So that's what I'm going to do. Ollie is very unhappy with the situation. Again, his person has been gone all day. I think he got a little pampered when he was sick that everybody was giving him constant attention. And so now it's really hard for him to understand when Addie's not here or when there's not more than one of us here to pay attention to him constantly. So he's not very happy. Probably also because he doesn't have many of his toys that he's used to too. So it's not been fun life for Ollie this week, but he'll be okay. Okay. So here is the chicken. Do, do, do. It looks really good. It looks it's cooked way down. So I'm going to check the chicken. Okay. So let's go here. Keep this out of there. Let's find like this one right here. You don't want it to go into the bone. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Yep. It is definitely done. We're like over 200 degrees. Yes, Ollie. And what's very interesting about all of this is this didn't look as done as what I have done before. But yeah, we are way over. <laughs> Poor Ollie. That's where the meat thermometer comes in, super handy. It gives you confidence in the kitchen. Um, so if you're not always sure when something's done or if you feel like you might be overcooking things, I highly recommend a meat thermometer. So, gotta get the rest of the kitchen ready for this. Figure out how to satisfy Ollie so I can get like just a few minutes <laughs> to tape. And then I'll play ball, I promise, I promise. I don't know if you can see it back there or not, but in order to make Ollie happy so I can finish this taping, <laughs> I've moved his pen, which is very portable. I love that pen. I should probably put it in our Amazon influencer shop so y'all can see it. Anyhow, I moved it. Do you see right in front of my cabinet? Do you see the little tail running back and forth over here? <laughs> I'm gonna stand inside of the cage during the taping. <laughs> so. He thinks I'm in with him and he'll be happy <laughs> and then I can get the chicken legs finished and then I can actually play with him <laughs> and then hopefully you know by the time I've juggled all of this they're gonna come home and then I would have had help but um, they're gonna be they're doing what they need to do Addie's got to do karate tonight so Everybody's trying to do what everybody's supposed to be doing, but I think I think I figured out this I hope I can trick him into it So if you see me in this video like kicking a ball, so he'll go run and go after it Um, that's what's going on it's Been six hours on low and I was a little like oh, this is a new to me slow cooker I have had casserole crocs in the past, but I wanted to double check it and I wanted to give you guys the tip that if you're ever just concerned that something might not be done like you, or you just want to double check your work, a meat thermometer is such a handy tool. You guys, the pantry door just opened while I was taping. Scared the crap out of me. It was the cat. <sighs> this is this day over yet? Good morning. On today's agenda, um, I've got a lot of computer work I've got to do. I'm going to be writing the Understanding um, Instant Pot Cooking Times post that goes with the video. We're day late on that. Um, so I need that's my top priority. And then after that, 
I'm going to be updating a couple blog posts that we put out before, but um, they need, I, I want to put the pieces in them that make them compatible with our recipe box. So it just adds some more features for people who really enjoy. So there's two roundup posts. That's what we call a post that has links to all different recipes and that kind of thing. And so I'm going to create those uh, inside of two popular posts that are gonna go out in the newsletter because that's what we have on editorial. So we have a blog post from 2019 called um, the 10 recipes we make the most and five of the recipes are Aunt Lou's and five of them are mine or at least they're our favorites. I just want to update those and then uh, with snippets so it kind of gives you a brief description of what each recipe is. That's one of the new features that we have and then the other feature is the shopping list and um, a way to save the whole list to your recipe box. And so that's part continuing to add these features and going back in our old content and doing that too is part of getting everything ready as we start to teach people all the different ways you can use the recipe box, which is on my agenda this week to get that content and I'm gonna start writing tutorials on how to use it, how to organize it, and all that kind of stuff. I have an outline for it and I believe, um, oh yeah, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow on tomorrow's agenda is for me to sit down and start writing some of those posts and once I get the posts written, then I'm gonna start taping some like tutorial videos that'll be like screenshots and stuff like that. Um, and then Aunt Lou is going to be here if she's not already here and her and Mikey are taping two videos today. They're taping the chicken, um, or the nacho chicken dip, which will um, be for the previous week because again, we're still trying to keep all that catch up stuff. And then they're taping a Foodie Friday to show how easy it is to make ham and beans in um, an electric pressure cooker. And so that will be the Foodie Friday for the week that you're watching this vlog. It's just work, work, work. I'm not going to subject you to me at the computer all day long and say, hey, this is a vlog. But that's kind of what today is. Uh, Mikey and Aunt Lou are doing the more fun stuff downstairs. When they're done, I think Aunt Lou's going to come up here and we're going to ask her some fun questions. So put her on the spot. First off, I'm sure she's clarified this, but just to make sure everybody knows, I am her younger sister and not Mikey's sister, not Chrissy's aunt, not Mikey's aunt, I'm Addie's aunt. Um, from the time I was, I don't even know, before I can remember, my dad um, started calling me Lou and that is not my real name, it is not any part of my name, um, but dad started calling me Lou and um, then when Miss Ad came around, I became Aunt Lou. And so, and I started out as Aunt Lou over on Goodness Gracious. And so now I'm Aunt Lou on Recipes at Croc. Chris asked me to answer some questions for you guys. So let's take a look and see what she's emailed me. What is your behind the scenes job? Well, I create recipes and um, cook them at my house and sometimes they're awesome and then you guys get to see them. Other times they flop and I don't put them up or I'll tweak them until they're awesome and then we'll put them up. Um, I also handle the Facebook scheduling and um, work with Chris so that she can get the newsletters out and yeah, that kind of thing. And then, of course, you guys see me on the YouTube channel, um, hanging out with Chris or Mikey and Addie and um, working on recipes there. But yeah, that's basically what I do. I cook, I schedule, I um, answer comments and um, try to find lots of yummy things for you guys to eat. All right, the next one. <laughs> How are Chris and I alike? Well, we are both 
fiercely loyal. We are very much family people. We love our family. We'll pick on each other like crazy, but by golly, you don't mess with um, family. I always tease Chris that with me, she's not mama bear, she's big sister bear, and you don't mess with big sister bear. We're both um, very talkative once like we're comfortable. I'm more of a nervous talker. She can, um, like when she gets comfortable with you, she will talk your leg off. Um, I will talk your leg off whether I'm comfortable with you or not. Actually, one thing she also put on here. Anything else I want to share, keeping in mind that we only have a couple hundred gigabyte of memory on the SD card. Yes, because I talk a lot. Um, how are we different? Chris is more introverted. I am more of a hybrid. I I would prefer to be home and like in my own little comfort zone, but if I have to go out, then like it's just my extrovert switch flips and I'm on and ready to go and that's just, yeah. Well, I make friends like my sister says that I will make friends with anybody <laughs> and um, and they tease me because um, from our various vacations that Michael and I have been on, um, I have friends all around the country. One of the stories that made even some of her extrovert friends go, wow. Like, we met a family on the beach um, that we, like, Michael and I hit it off with the husband and wife and our kids all hit it off and it was, it was awesome and so we like, hey, why don't we go on a together? And so we went out to eat and one of the workers at the restaurant came up and that um, it was actually a person doing balloons. They were like, oh, where are you guys from? And they said the state they were from, and we said we were from Indiana, which is a different state than them. And she was like, oh, family reunion? And we said, no, it's, um, <laughs> we just met on the beach today. And the lady just kind of stopped folding her balloons and looked at us and said, I've never heard that one before. So anyway, um, I, I always give people the benefit of the doubt where, um, sometimes that works out for me. Sometimes it, it does not. We're pretty, like, we're alike in a lot of ways, but like in the ways we're different, we complement each other well. But Chris and I have such an awesome relationship and always have, I mean, we're, we, we can fight. Oh, trust me, we're sisters, we can fight. It's this like respect and love, just fierce connection that, um, I don't know, it just works. And so people say, oh, don't work for your sister. And I'd say, no, no, you know. I've always been her assistant, like since I was born. Now I just get paid for it. Um, anything else about me to know? If you can't cook, or if you've tried cooking and have had some really, really bad experiences, I understand. It's a famous story in my family. I was probably about 11, 12, and I made cookies that wouldn't bake. And, um, you know, I missed in the recipe I'm guessing um, you know the baking powder or baking soda or something like that but it was it was just awful I remember being like a young 20 something and trying to make meals on my own and I was terrified even to try to make like a box of hamburger helper like that intimidated me through recipes that crock I have been able to keep trying and like my recipes don't always hit the first time and and that's okay like that's why I'm doing this not you guys I'm doing it so that you guys can have the best chance of success whenever you try it but for me to go from being terrified of trying to make a box of hamburger helper to you know like hey I think I'll try this and I'll try that and we'll throw this in and see how those flavors makes and all of this stuff like if I can do it, you guys can do it. And like, it's not, it may happen overnight, but it may not. And if it doesn't, just keep on trying. You guys can get there. You can be a good cook. Well, I have no idea what she just said to you guys, so this should be fun to edit. She had to leave to go home, and I'm in the middle of trying to get the site map printed out and assembled um, so that I can start doing some major planning for the website. Um, so who knows what she shared but that should be fun um so i'm gonna finish this and then after i get all of that done and work is finally done for the day 
I need to get online and print off some recipes um, for my friend and make her binder. So it's binder time, I guess. I've recruited I've recruited some help she's helping me put together the binder both binders actually well it has been a day we have all of our stuff done this week for the taping of the show and so that will, will be all of this week that you will see and then in addition to that Addie helped me get my site map all put together so I can start organizing for future posts and see what we need and what we need to share and all that kind of stuff and she helped me put together and made the cover oh I just knocked myself in the face. She made the cover. Uh, a cookbook of recipes for our friends that are expecting. Um, all I did is I went into um, our uh, recipes for beginners and I saved the collection in the recipe box and then that made it really easy to go back and forth to print. But it made me think if people would be interested if I would put together um, work on some of those really popular lists that have some of like our very best recipes on them I'm thinking of offering an option for a dollar or two or maybe even a donation I'd have to see how it works and also what my costs would be to go ahead and compile all those PDFs because like you had to go to each one of these and print them unfortunately <laughs> um, to do something like this but to be able to easily print like a grouping of recipes all at one time um, where it would be like one download and then you could print that download and then I could even like maybe even put an index with it and like not do tons of work with it because people are always asking me for a cookbook and I'm sorry if you hear that noise that is Octavius yes are you okay you are making such noise he's like panting and snorting and anyhow but anyhow I was thinking it would take some extra time. It would possibly, depending on how I would get the PDF set up to download and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure. We haven't ever went that way. People keep asking us for a cookbook and it is on my best of intentions to do. Um, to easily put together some of those things and make it available either as a download or to print. But this might be uh, our download or to get a printed version but this might be a nice in-between step um, for folks who are wanting that kind of like can I just have you handpick some stuff out and let me print all that at one time um, not that it won't change the fact that you could still get it all for free if you wanted to go get all the stuff um, like I just did myself it took took us maybe half an hour to put this together versus a click and hit print which would be you know like five minutes so that's what that's the difference um so I don't know I'm thinking about it I'd love to hear your thoughts because people always ask us for certain things but then it's like okay what are we gonna not do <laughs> so that we can do this other thing because <laughs> we kind of are doing a lot um we're at capacity a little bit but anyhow, I'm happy about this, and she was determined. I don't think you can see it it's so bright. I still can't figure out what's going on with my camera settings. Can you see it? There we go. She wanted to draw a cute little character. 
to give it to them. So, anyhow, that's fun. Um, yeah. Uh, so typically I would end the vlog whenever I got to the end of the tapings, but because we worked so hard last week and we've been very diligent this week, it's only day two and we have all the videos taped. What I think I might do is keep you guys one more day so that I can show you some stuff on the computer that I've been working on because since you've been seeing me work on the computer, I kind of want to show you some of that stuff that's kind of a little different and some things that are being updated on the website so you guys can kind of really check it out. Um, and depending on what I get to tomorrow, I was hoping to be able to start doing some of the recipe box stuff, which I know a lot of you are really interested in. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys around one more day um, and see if I can get to, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to all of it, but if I do get to some of it, I want to show you it um, kind of behind the scenes first. Good afternoon. Yesterday I had this pipe dream of being able to share all kinds of stuff and I was going to get all kinds of head on the recipe box on the website. Didn't happen. Haven't updated the other post yet to kind of like record and show you guys that. So what I'm going to do is decide to wave the white flag for this week. I'm going to go ahead and close this out and I'm going to close out with some more footage of our um, Texas trip with the family so you guys can kind of see some of that and hopefully have a song from Mikey in the background to close it all out and then next week hopefully I'll be on my A game and we can talk recipe box next week. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll see, you know. You know how well my plans have been going here lately. <laughs> But we'll see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy this week's uh, 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 blog and YouTube content. Um, and we'll see ya. Bye. <laughs>
If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon and make a 